Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be an Aldi candle haul. So I've actually never purchased an Aldi candle before and I was really intrigued because I've been watching Kimball here on YouTube. Go follow her, she's amazing. She does weekly Aldi videos where she goes in the store and like looks at all the candles. I'm pretty sure that candles come out every week on Wednesdays at Aldi. Um, sometimes they're new and sometimes they're not. So I got some from the previous round of fall candles because I guess my store had restocked and then I also got some from this past week's new candles so I'm so excited to share with you guys what I found they're like a really good deal compared to Bath and Body Works and so I really wanted to test them out and see how they perform so let's get into the haul so first I picked up two of the Huntington Homes brand so these are actually $3.99 really good deal the first one I picked up is pumpkin apple fritter excuse me if I do like stutter a little bit because I have my rubber bands on today for my braces I just didn't want to take them off um, and I'm supposed to keep them on as long as possible so forgive me if I stutter but the first one was pumpkin apple fritter and honestly it's a really good fragrance when I smelled it in stores I was kind of surprised because it's almost a like apple pump pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works but with a little bit of a bakery taste like maybe a croissant vibe to it it has a really good smell. Even my mom liked it and she does not like pumpkin scent. So if you're not a pumpkin fan, you'll probably still like these. But mm, it smells really good. I definitely can see waiting on this one until October though to burn it. Um, but I'm really excited to test it out. So I might just test it and then just like wait to actually burn it in um, October. But I'll keep you guys updated on how these burn in my weekly vlogs, which come out every week, either Sunday or Monday, just depending on if I have time Sunday to uh, edit them. But I'll keep you guys updated on how they perform, but this is the first one. And the second one is Fall Flannel Shirt. This one's so cute. I love like the packaging. I just love the buffalo check. I think it's really cute. And this one smells like mahogany teakwood. I was so surprised when I smelled it. Um, and it's definitely a dupe. I really hope it performs well because as you guys know, mahogany teakwood is a very, very strong candle. And then they even have mahogany teakwood high intensity now, which is even stronger, which I thought the first one by itself was like super strong anyways. So, but this one smells so good. Mm, I've been wanting a manly scent for a while now, um, just because I really enjoy burning them um, on like the weekends when I'm relaxing or um, when it's cold outside too. I really love the cologne candles. So. Mm, smells really good. I am slightly worried about the wicks. I tried to get one with good wicks, but they're pretty close together. Um, so I am a little worried about that, but I'll keep you guys updated on how this one performs. And then I did pick up two of the Woodwick candles. So the brand is actually Timberwick, and this is what they look like. They are a single wick candle. And oh, let me tell you the size of these. These are how many ounces? Doesn't tell me. Oh, oh my gosh, there's scent notes on the bottom of this. I just realized that. Okay, it says fall flannel shirt, oriental, bergamot, and musk. So it does give you scent notes on the bottom, which is really cool. It's right up here at the very top. I don't know what oriental is supposed to smell like, but definitely bergamot and musk. Um, and then this one was pumpkin apple fritter, bakery pumpkin and vanilla. Okay, so maybe the first um, note on here is like the scent category, and then the two are the scent notes. So maybe the scent category on this one was oriental, and the scent notes are bergamot and musk, and the scent category on this one is bakery, and then pumpkin and vanilla. So I guess that's kind of how that works on those. But these ones I don't think have... Oh, these have... <laughs> no, they don't. Just getting... I got excited. <laughs> they have the name on the bottom, but not the scent notes. So the first one I got is Citrus Clove, and this is still the Huntington Home brand in, I guess, a sub-brand or whatever, Timberwick, but they say it on the lid as well. And the lid is just like a wood lid, and it does have like a little suction, but it's pretty loose on the candle. Like if I were to do this, it'd just fall off, but it's kind of whatever. I don't really care too much, but the first one is Citrus and Clove, and this one is super spicy. Wow. I really don't get a lot of citrus, but I do get a lot of clove. It's super spicy. Really excited for this one when it actually gets cold. It's going to be so good. I'm really excited because I've actually never had a Woodwick candle in my life before. Um, so I'm really excited to see how it sounds and smells and performs. And the second one I got is Toasted Pumpkin Marshmallow. The the labels on these are kind of tricky. They You can't really see them that well because they're mirrored. 
but this one I have actually already burned and you can tell there's a little discoloration in the wax that's melted already and the wax that hasn't. Um, I really just think it's because of the wood wick. I really think that's all it is. But they do say that you need to trim the wood wick to, I think it says a fourth inch after burning. Yeah, trim wicks to a fourth of an inch each time candle is lit to reduce sitting. So it says do not trim before initial lighting though. But I will need to trim this a little bit because it is kind of a little taller than a fourth of an inch. So I do have a um, candle trimmer, so I'll do that before I burn it again. But this was like a really nice, like soft kind of scent. It's definitely like a white pumpkin kind of um, very like simple, sophisticated pumpkin scent. It's a little bit... I wouldn't even say spicy, but I would say it's a pumpkin vanilla. That's really just what it is. It's just pumpkin vanilla. Kind of similar to Bath and Body Works, um, what is it? White pumpkin marshmallow, I think is what I'm thinking of. I can't think of what it is, but I'll put it down here if I remember to do that during editing. But that's what this one smells like to me. It did fill up my entire room when I had it burning. Like my mom walked in the room and was like, whoa, what, what pumpkin candle are you burning today? So you can definitely smell it. It does fill up um, a bedroom. Probably not like a living room or anything because it is only one wick, but I'm very excited about this one. And these were $6, so they were $5.99. So I don't think that's too bad for a wood wick candle. It is kind of small, but I feel like that's still, you get the crackling experience and that was really cool. Um, so yeah, I picked up those two and these two and that's everything for my Aldi candle haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below um, if you have tried the Huntington Home candles before and what your experience with them is. I know my friend here on uh, YouTube, it's Appa. She's tried them and raves about them. And so I was really excited to try them hearing it from like a lot of different people that they were really good. So I'm super excited to see how they perform. But there's just like a little batch of a fall candle haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and if you did like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!